Let's make some burlesque illusion pasties together. So what are illusion pasties? Well, pasties are nipple covers worn by burlesque performers and the illusion here is it looks like you've just rhinestone directly onto your skin. For this make you need some rhinestones some beads or you could use tassels if you prefer but the beads match my costume some glue two circular objects to draw around one roughly the size of your nipple one much larger you'll need some thread here i've got fishing wire and some cotton some tulle fabric that's roughly the same shade as your skin Some pleather fabric in a nude colour to suit your skin tone. A pen and an eyeliner pencil for picking up your rhinestones. Two hair clips to hold your pasties in place while they dry. Some paper and some scissors. Taking the pleather fabric and the smaller of the two circular objects, here I'm using a lint roller, you'll want to draw around that circle onto the fabric. Remember you're going to be making two of these, so repeat the process for every step we do here. We're going to cut that circle out, then folding in half to find the center point, make a cut all the way up to the center. Try your best not to go beyond. Then allow you to fold the edges over and create a more conical shape to sit better over your nipple. We're then going to take some glue and just line one of the edges, draw a triangle of glue so that you can overlay the edge and stick that down in place. Now fold the edge over to create that conical shape and hold in place for a few seconds while that glue gets nice and tacky. You can then use the hair clip to secure that in place and set aside to dry fully. Whilst that's drying, we're going to take the tool fabric and just cut out a square large enough for your circular object to sit on. So here I'm using a gin glass which we're going to draw around. Do make sure you've got something to protect your work surface underneath, otherwise you're going to end up drawing circles all over your table. And try your best not to nudge it out of the way like I did. Once drawn out, you'll want to cut the circle out. This can be quite difficult to see on the tool fabric, so do take your time. I'm folding the circle into quarters here to find the centre point, and then taking my scissors to just cut up one side up to the centre. So we're creating that slit like we did on the pleather fabric. Now we're going to overlay the tool on top of the pleather. So I'm going to place a line of glue along the fold of the pleather fabric. And then carefully place the tool on top. And I'm just lining up the edge of the tool with the edge of the fold on the pleather. 
Make sure you pay attention to the distance you've got around the edges. Try and get it as even as you possibly can before sticking that tool down in place. Smooth out the tool on top of the pleather to make sure that it lays flat against it. And then you have that fold over just like you did with the base, which you can then stick down on top. Once happy with that, secure further. I'm just gonna place a blob of glue in the center and then draw some lines out from the center to create a cross. Gently push that tool fabric down just to make sure it's nice and secure. When we do the rhinestoning, you will be adding further glue blobs and that will help it stick in place as well. So we're ready to do the rhinestoning. Make sure you get everything set up ready because this can be a bit of a fiddly and tedious job. I'm using two different sizes of rhinestones here. This is just what I had left over from a previous project. You can use all sorts of different shapes and sizes. It's a good idea to map out the pattern you want to create before going in with the glue. There's lots of inspiration to be had online for this. So the first part that I want to cover is that line, that join. So I'm making sure that my first rhinestone gets placed there. And I'm going to start off with the larger size and work my way to the smaller size. Okay, let's speed this up for you. Once happy with the centre part of your pasty, you can start working on the tool part. Here I only want to use the smaller rhinestones because I want them to kind of taper off into my skin. Once complete, just set that off to the side to dry before adding your tassels or you can work on the beading like I'm doing here. So I'm using the fishing wire to do my beads and I'm going to cut a length off that's over twice the length I want it to be. So it's a good idea to hold it up against yourself to see how much dangle you want on your tassel. I'm using lots of different size beads here. I bought these off Amazon and I've also got some little teardrop beads as well for the ends. So we'll start with the teardrop. I'm just going to thread that fishing wire through and bring it down halfway so that I can fold the fishing wire in half and bring those ends neatly together. Threading both ends through each 
bead will mean that the droplet stays at the end and you don't need to tie anything off. So I'm just going to add lots of different size beads, working my way to a length that I'm happy with. Like I said, do check it against yourself to make sure it's the length you want it to be. And I'm going to create three different lengths for each pasty. Once you're happy, you'll want to stitch these through the center of the pasty and then you can tie them off at the back and add a blob of glue at the very end just to secure them all in place. And this is the finished result. To fix to your skin, you can use double-sided tape on the back of the pleather part only so you can't see any tape through the mesh and it just looks like your skin. These are the perfect addition to any burlesque wardrobe.